Hello everyone, coming to you from a very remote place on the Gettysburg battlefield south of Gettysburg near Big Round Top. I'm standing at the position of Samuel Elder's Battery E, 4th United States Artillery Regiment. My name's Wayne Motts. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the National Civil War Museum in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I'm a battlefield guide at the Gettysburg National Military Park, and this is our captivating story of the American Civil War. Now, we're not going to talk about Elder's Battery, this battery here at Gettysburg on July 3rd, 1863, but we are going to talk about a connection to this battery before the American Civil War. Back in May, I did a captivating story of the American Civil War for the National Civil War Museum, and I called it a Brothers War. And I highlighted two sets of brothers. Each of them became generals, one in the Union and one in the Confederacy during the Civil War. And I said there were two sets of brothers that did that during the war. Well, guess what? You learn something every day. And we want to thank member Phil out in Ohio of the National Civil War Museum for telling Wayne Motts, Wayne, you missed one set. And that set of brothers is the focus of this video, A Brother's War, Part 2. Those brothers, William Rufus Terrell and James Barber Terrell, both of them generals in the Civil War, one in the Union Army and one in the Confederate Army. Both of these men were born in Virginia. Their father, William H. Terrell, was a Virginia legislator. He was a lawyer. And William Rufus Terrell, who became the Union general, he was a graduate of West Point in the class of 1853. That's a well-known class. John Bell Hood, famous Confederate general. Phil Sheridan, famous Union general, also members of William Rufus Terrell's class. And Terrell became an artillery officer prior to the Civil War. And guess what battery he was assigned to? One of his assignments, Battery E, 4th United States Artillery Regiment. So Terrell was in this battery before the Civil War. Civil War breaks out. He decides not to go with Virginia, even though he's a Virginia native. He stays with the Union. He becomes an artillery commander at the Battle of Shiloh. And he's mortally wounded on October 8, 1862, at the Battle of Perryville, Kentucky. And originally, his remains were taken up to Reading, Pennsylvania, north of here. He was buried at Reading. And then his remains were moved and transferred to West Point, where he now rests in the West Point Cemetery. His brother, James Barber, Terrell uh, becomes a Confederate general. He's mortally wounded May 30th, 1864 at the Battle of Bethesda Church and he's promoted to general two days later. It's said according to family lore that their father William Terrell had a memorial place that said only God knows who was right. Unfortunately for William Terrell, he had four sons in the Civil War. He lost at least three of them that I know about, and three of them were in the Confederate Army, and one was in the Union Army. I hope you enjoyed this captivating story of the Civil War. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you haven't seen our Brothers War Part 1 that we put up last month in May of 2020, go right over there and watch that first. Thanks for joining